I'm probably gonna get a lot of hate for this, but I don't care. Hey guys, what's up? It's Amy. Again, if you watch my other video. I don't know. Okay, I don't know. So today I'm going to be talking about what not to do in the military. And I have a few right here on my cellular device. Hold on. Okay, so let's start with like money crap. So, okay, during basic and during tech school, your bank account is going to look pretty fat I guess if, especially if you're just coming from like a part time job or whatever and you decided to join the military you get out of tech school you're gonna your bank account's gonna be pretty, pretty up there cause we're in basic and tech school you can't really go out and do crazy stuff or whatever you can go out in tech school but you're not gonna have a lot of time cause you're gonna have to be studying and in school most of the day but on top of that a lot of people they there's a freaking bug a lot of people they go they get out of tech school and they think they have all this money in the world and they go buy cars expensive cars yeah don't do Camaros like uh, Mustangs and chargers and all this bull I'm just like what the heck and they want to complain that they ain't got no money first of all you ain't got no money because you got bills now you're out of tech school you're out of basic you got bills you're not going to sit in your dorm all day doing whatever. You're going to have like Wi-Fi, internet, internet, Wi-Fi, same thing. Cable, you're going to have to pay for that. Your phone bill, you're going to have to pay for that. And then your car note. Um, living in the dorms, you're like an E1 through E3. You, you don't get that much money. I personally, the base that I'm on, we don't have a chow hall. So we get paid just a little bit extra than most bases. But that's not even, that's like freaking... I don't know, two fifty, three hundred dollars more a month. Really, if you think about that, that ain't even enough money to buy all the food that you will eat in a month. So, yeah. So if you're like planning on, oh, when I get out, I'm gonna get this car, this car. Don't do it. There's so many people that have problems where they have to go and talk to the sure or the commander or blah 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 because they can't pay their freaking car note. Like. Yes, your bank account is going to be look big to you when you first start actually working. But once those paychecks come are coming, you're going to be like, this is it? This is it? Yeah, so don't do that. I don't know why I was sitting like that. Okay, second thing. Travel. Okay. Don't, if you're not in already, don't think you're going to come in and do all this exploring around the world. Because you're not. Unless you're just that lucky person that, oh, it's deployed here, it's deployed there. It's not going to happen. So when you first get in, like actually active duty working or whatever, you have to start like CDC. Yeah, you're going to start your CDCs, which is like career development stuff. And me, I have nine volumes. It takes me, I think I have a whole year to complete mine. So in that year, you can't even do anything because you have to finish your CDC. They're not going to deploy you. They're not going to move your bases or whatever until those are done. And on top of that, most of the people, when they come in, your first base will probably be your only base. A lot of people do get lucky and get orders early to move to a different base or whatever. But not very much and not a lot of people get deployed either you're it's a very select few people who get deployed so if you're coming in thinking just because you want to travel i would say don't do it don't be lazy when you after during tech school during basic you're required to pt with everyone you have to pt like there's no option you get uh accounted for and everything during pt you have to do it operational depending on your base I know for a fact we don't do group PT my job as a whole we don't do group PT just because we don't have time I am a pharmacy technician so everyone not everyone but someone has to be there at all times to help the patient process the meds blah 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 because there's always the patients don't stop coming so we always have to be there we don't have a single hour out of the day where we can be like oh 
let's all go PT. We don't have time for that. So, yeah. You PT on your own. Don't get lazy because you will see a drop in your PC score if you do a dramatic drop. Yeah. Just run. Run at least like two or three times a week or go to the gym, do some cardio. You don't have to run. I know I don't run. I do not run. I hate running. So I just do cardio in the gym or in my freaking room. I do like insanity or something. You stay active because it's going to be way more, I wouldn't say relaxed. You won't be doing as much physical activity when you're operational. You just won't. Um, marriage. Ooh. Military people and marriage is like, I just laugh at it sometimes. One day I will be married, blah, blah, so so. I'm not talking down on marriage. I'm just talking about what people do in the military. People will come in, they'll get married before they come in just because they don't want to be without that person or away from. But basic, you can't take your wife, husband with you. Text you can't take your, your wife, husband with you. Deployment, you can't take your husband, wife with you. Now when you're operational, yes, they can come and live with you. Well, obviously, you're a family now. They can't tell you no. They come and live with you. But at the same time, I'm just like, don't. If you're in a serious relationship, don't just go and get married because, oh, I'm headed off to basic. Just don't do it. If it's that serious and y'all are that much in love and y'all know y'all want to be together forever, just wait. I would say just wait. Because I see a lot of, uh, I don't, mm. There's a lot of divorce in the military, and there's a lot of cheaters. <laughs> there's a lot of, yeah, there's just a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, um, uh, there are not, don't get me wrong, there are faithful people in the military, obviously, you're, you're still a human before you join the military, you're still a human after you join. There are, it's just like, normal world, whatever, there's a lot of faithful people, but there are a lot of cheaters and I don't mean just like going sleeping around cheating I mean like just a simple a text message or flirting or stuff like that like guys and girls don't get me wrong they just are tempted you know there's always you have military is co-ed so there's guys and girls in your work section always uh, I personally know a few men who can't control themselves their minds or whatever um yeah they see a cute girl and they're just like hey what's up i'm just like oh my god yeah but just don't i don't know don't come in <laughs> married if you know don't be like oh yeah i want to spend the rest of my life with her or him we're gonna do this that and that because things change people change a life changes just now if you already have kids with them whatever go ahead put a ring on it I don't really care but if you're both single with no children um, unless you've been together like 8,000 years then go ahead if not you've only been together a few months I wouldn't say get married before you join but get married after you join that way you know yeah this is what I want I want that person to be along with me on this journey because the journey is going to be completely different than you expect. Before you get in, you're going to be like, oh, we're going to do that, that, that. No, once you get in, you're going to be like, oh, this is what we're doing. This is what we're doing. Yeah, so, I don't know. Don't. Just don't do it. On that note, military wives. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for this. But don't think your husband's a superstar. I don't know. I have that problem a lot. I run into military wives that are just like they think they're on top of the world they don't work they don't pretty much don't do nothing they just stay home just because i don't know your mom, your husband does not make that much money he doesn't make that much money at all like our paychecks are not something to brag about but yeah he's serving the country he might be a superhero to some little kid somewhere blah blah, blah. but to you even to you i don't know but don't walk around here like you're kim kardashian dating kanye west good because you're not 
I don't know. I'm not going to be like, oh, if your husband's in the military, you need a job. No. I'm going to say you just need to, I don't know, occupy your time. Because <laughs> trust me, I don't know. I, I, If I was not in the military, I would not be able to let my husband just work and me sit at home personally i know there's housewives out there blah, blah blah but being in the military i feel like you should have if your spouse or whatever is in the military you should have something else because when they get deployed you're just left there you're you don't have nothing to do all day but sit at home you it's not even like oh you're waiting for him to come home because he's not coming home he's somewhere in timbuktu and you ain't gonna see him for a few months maybe a year like i don't know i would just say find a hobby something I don't know, it makes my head. If you're gonna be a military wife, like you're coming, your boyfriend or whatever, fiance, they're joining like right now, and you're looking at this video like, oh my gosh, she's so rude. I'm not, I'm just speaking the truth. And you guys are gonna bump heads too. Like military wives, they don't like each other. They think, oh, my husband's better than her husband. He's higher ranking than her husband. Who gives a crap? Like, what the heck? They both do the same job. Okay, so yeah. That's pretty much it. That was a really short video. I just had to rant a little bit because I get tired of seeing stupidity. Don't be stupid. Think before you do stuff. Like, especially the freaking car thing. Like, people, I've personally seen people go out, buy a car, and then turn around and buy a motorcycle. And they're a freaking E30. I make the same money as you do. I know damn well my pockets does not say can't afford motorcycle, can't afford Camaro, and can't afford a freaking I don't know what. People get carried. That's my rant for the day. Um, if you don't like it, oh well. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comment below because I get bored sometimes and I like talking to you guys. But, yeah, that's it. Bye.